Welcome to my art channel, Foxes. This week I thought I'd show you how I made my Halloween costume. This year I'm gonna be Oogie Boogie, but I decided to make it a little different than what I've seen other people do, and this one's gonna be kind of like at the end of the movie where he gets like ripped open a little bit. So I'm using a black cape that I had bought a long time ago as the base. And here I'm making a pattern to extend the like back of the head because it's got like that point on the back of his head that kind of flops down a bit. So I had to use an extra black fabric to make the whole thing black to match for the underneath part. So I didn't have any burlap, but I did have this, uh, it's like a curtain panel, and I undid all the seams to make it as big as I could. It didn't fit like the full body, but I decided to do it a little differently anyway, which I'll show you later. So I'm using this and I'm cutting out a part of it and then I'm sandwiching it between the two black pieces that I cut out for the hood so that I can then sew them and then flip it the right way out so the seams are inside. So here's it all sewn up. I left the bottom and the front unsewn, obviously, because I'm going to fold those over the front part over onto the hood of the actual cape to sew it on to that. And I'm sorry, this project is bigger than what I'm used to, so I had to, you know, kind of show it in parts, a lot of it. And so here's the cape, and I'm going to stitch the bottom part onto the back part of, like, where the neck is for the cape. And this is for his eyes. I used some cardboard pieces first. And then I'm using some model magic to kind of build up like his eyebrow type area. So I pinned the hood on down the middle of it to the actual hood of the cloak or cape or whatever and I'm trying to figure out center-wise where to put the eyes to make them even which was kind of difficult there's probably an easier way to do this but this is how I ended up doing it and I just put like a little bit of hot glue so that way I would be able to move it if I needed to or take it off or whatever to make sure that they were as even as I could get them to be. And then I decided to use a little hot glue to build up the bottom eyelid a little bit. I only had a little bit of model magic, so this is what I did for just the bottom part, just so that it has a little more of a bump to it. Thank you. 
And then I put some glue around the other side and try to put it on there as evenly as possible. Then I put some glue on the top of the eye shape that I made and pushed the black fabric into it so that you could see around it real good. And it would be more defined. And then I put some on just the black fabric to try to stick this mesh fabric down. It's a little messy, so I only did it in a few spots. And then I sewed in around some of the other spots. And I am going to cover it with paint later. So here's how it looks. It looks a little messy, but when I paint it, it looks better. And then I flipped the front seam over into the hood and sewed that up and put some stitches along the top center too. And then I got these cool green lights from the Dollar Tree that I want to sew around the front of the hood so that it'll have a light up feature. And then I had to lay everything out on the floor because of how big it was and it needed more space and my dog is there to help supervise, I guess. <laughs> So I pinned all the way up this middle section where the seam was, and then that's where I sew it. And then um, I left that flap open because I want it to be, uh, it's like wavy and like he's kind of falling apart a bit. So I left that bottom part, I sewed down just the front a bit, and then um, left that whole end on that part free flowing. And then I'm starting with painting his eyes black. And then I'm using a dark brown to go around the eyes, like socket parts.
And then I do lines up like his mouth or like wrinkles, I guess, up his mouth. So I do streaks of brown for that. And I go down the back seam and around the like neck seam where I sewed it too. And then I kind of just randomly went all over it with some brown. And then I went down all the, the front side seam of that and all the way down around the bottom and everything with brown just to make it look kind of dirty. and then randomly all over like the back of it and everything to make it look dirty and like kind of like the lines for the burlap since I didn't get to use burlap. And then because he's falling apart and he's a bag of bugs, I decided to paint a bunch of bugs around the bottom black part of the cape that you see because the one part is kind of up higher the meshy part is up higher so you do see this corner the corners at the bottom of the cape so I painted a bunch of bugs on them and first I'm going over them with white so that the other colors will stand out a bit better And the bugs were pretty colorful in the movie, so I wanted to make them pretty colorful, and I was hoping it would also help them stand out better, especially like at night.
So I went in with some solid color and then I went in with like uh, a darker or like another version like uh, on the orange I did a red and on the red I used kind of a brownish orangish color and the blue was like a dark blue. The purple I actually did a lighter purple just, just so that it would have some contrast and look more cartoony. And then I took some black yarn and this big needle and went through and tried to make some stitches down the back of the head and I left like a longer chunk because he's got like a longer part that hangs down from the very point that has like a spider at the end. So I tied that off and then I, I tried to sew some stitches and I had kind of a hard time with that but I had to use like pliers and stuff so but it came out okay. And then since there was a spider there, I used this spider ring and just cut the ring part off and I glue it onto the end of that yarn. And then to make it look like he got ripped open, I am going to put some just small pieces of yarn all the way down the front. And I'm going to just take the chunks and pull them through and then I put just a tiny bit of hot glue on the inside and push the yarn into it just to kind of help hold it on there.
And then I found these spider clips at the Dollar Tree, so I figured I would paint them. Well, I left one purple, and then I, the other ones I painted black, orange, and green to be different Halloween colors. And then I figured I could just kind of clip them on the cape or on my outfit or, you know, just random places just to add a little extra, like, 3D bugs. And this is how it turned out. I did my best to get a good angle of everything so you could see everything. It's kind of hard when I had to do it in different sections. So like this is kind of the top part. So you can kind of see what the top part looks like and then I will show the bottom. Here's the back of the hood with the little spider hanging down. Here's what the bottom looks like. And then I will show you what it looks like with the light off and the light, the green lights on. There you go. And I hope you enjoyed watching me make my Halloween costume. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more art videos.